Good morning this Saturday, August 22nd. My name is Dana Corsello, and I'm the Canon Vicar of Washington National Cathedral, and very honored to be with you this morning. The Cathedral invites you to submit the names of those lost to this pandemic at cathedral.org slash COVID Memorial. We will pray over those names during this Saturday service, which will be available on our website and on Facebook. And the names will be kept here in the chapel of St. Joseph of Arimathea as a memorial and will continue to remain in the prayers of our community. Very happy that you are with me this morning. I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life even though he die. And everyone who has life and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awaking, he will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see, and my eyes behold him who is my friend and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself, and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord, and if we die, we die in the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our sisters, brothers, and siblings who have died as a result of COVID-19. Gerald A. Spice, Rita Pacheco D. Gazelle, Robbie Waters, Rubenstein McClure, Spencer Scott, Grace C. Chorister, Stephen Van Ravensway, Rose Mary Infantino, Jose Garcia, Connie Lusher, Walter Merritt, James Richard Nichols, Jennifer Klein, Melvin Reese, Milton O'Dell, Ruth Ann Merchland, Richard Weisdorf, Doug Atwell, Capitola S. Davis, Purvis Farmer, Glenn Erlandson, Catherine Andrews, Sebastian Laird Hammond, Millie, Steve Ogden, Kyle Gregory, Gwen Hall, Sonia Eloise Willis, and those who've lost their lives in nursing homes, Boo Anwers, Diana Tanguma, Michael Sean Lopez, Michael William Mann, Avril Cunningham, James Michael Harrington, 
Donna Biggers Crowenberg, Howard Ballou, Jane Seebecker, Arletta Bateman, Brad Johnson, Wayne Russell Hagstrom, Tom Barber, Trish Snively Markland Clark, Bobby Lake, Phyllis Gardner, Sylvia Nikki Jenkins, Donna Morrissey, Aveline Yesenia Castillo, Robert Earl Duncan, Henderson Cummings, Glenn Hurley, Barbara Bright McNicholas, Jerry Reveron, Sylvia F. Umakoro, William Rawson, Patty McQuery, Edmundo Martinez, Coleman E. Williams, Loretta Carey, James E. Mann, Jr., Elaine May Christopher, Margaret Bayetti, William S. Spain, Pau Belosky, Roger Dean, Mary Louise Robbins, Lawrence Dodge, Virginia Emma Besek Clark, George Posis, James Ashley Healy, Travis Beckham, Steve Polka, Bob Burris, Alan Seaback, Remy Girabone, Esther Bolivar, Dulcinea de Tobasso Mitracero, Toby Lopez, Brad Gegenheimer, Carol Hewson, Jane Webster, Joanne Rawson, Rose Mary Johnson, Edward Johnson, Felicia Hervey, Michael Brian Walsh, and Robert James Mercadante. All those we love but see no more are not lost. Their names and lives are not forgotten. Gracious God, we now present these souls into your loving presence and protection. Grant them your peace and let light perpetual shine upon them. Amen. O oh God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of your servants who have died from the coronavirus, often alone, without the comfort of family and friends or loving embrace. Give them your peace and grant them an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of your saints through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Most merciful God, whose wisdom is beyond our understanding. Deal graciously with the family and friends of those who have lost loved ones to COVID. We pray for them in their grief. Surround them with your love, that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss, but have confidence in your goodness and strength to meet the days to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of mankind, and we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust. Even at the grave, we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Father of all mercies and God of all consolation, you pursue us with untiring love and dispel the shadow of death with the bright dawn of life. Your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by dying has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Enable us, therefore, to press on towards him, so that after our earthly course is run, he may unite us with those we love. When every tear will be wiped away, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>